Hello and welcome to the first part of our series, Introducing You to Pepper's Plants. My name is Pepper Bradford. I'm the owner here. We're standing inside my high tunnel. Now, a high tunnel is essentially an unheated greenhouse. I got this a couple of years ago through an NRCS grant. Uh, it's December the 10th today, and you can see what we've got in here. Uh, we've got tomatoes, we've got lettuces, we've got some, some greens, we've got some arugula over there. It's pretty cold outside. Uh, it's going to be high 40 today. Last night it was down to 25, but mm. here inside the high tunnel, it's uh, right now it's about 70 degrees. Last night outside was 25 degrees. Inside, though, was I think the high of the last night was, or rather the low last night was around 35, 36. Now, as you can see over here, I've got an electric fan. Now, I am doing that to try to keep the tomato plants from freezing. So as you can see here, I've got a wooden support, and what I had done originally was take this plastic and drape it across the wooden support at about six feet high, stretch it all the way across to the side walls, which are also six feet high, and basically created an inner room, a, a greenhouse within a greenhouse, and that's what I had the electric heaters for, was to keep the temperature higher than the outside temperature, and it was working. Uh, one thing that I found, though, was that, of course, the plants are down at about a foot and a half, two feet off the ground six foot height. It, it wasn't very efficient. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take down this system and cover these with a lower plastic system where the, the plastic's no more than about a foot above the plant. Still keep the heater in there and hopefully I'll be able to get a more efficient heating system going on with just these two little $20 heaters that I got from Lowe's. Uh, we'll find out how all well that goes. Interestingly enough, as you can see here, these tomato plants are doing fine. I've got these two that died from the cold. Now, I don't know why these died and the ones next to it didn't, but as you can tell, uh, 25, 20 degree weather really does uh, affect these tomatoes. Now, I imagine we probably do have a little cold air leaking in under here. I don't yet know why we've got damage on certain ones and not others. I did plant extras, so I, I will replace these. Um, these are all one variety here, so I don't know what the difference is, but as you can see, it is a struggle trying to grow tomatoes in the wintertime, even in Mississippi. Very exciting day, very exciting thing we found. It's uh, December the 10th. I put these plants in the ground early part of just, uh, November. Planted them probably October the 28th, planted the seeds for them. This is uh, Mountain Spring, it's my favorite variety. And we have flower buds. Today is the 10th, we've got flower buds. So uh, about 40 days from flowering normally, about 40 days from flowering to harvest, that would put me harvesting about January the, January the 30th. Now, I don't know that these will harvest the, uh, well, these will mature as quickly in the cold, but uh, flower buds, December the 10th in North Mississippi, it's a pretty exciting thing. This is what I'm most proud of right now. This is romaine lettuce. I have a restaurant over in Hernando that's asked me to grow some romaine for them. I've got two different varieties here. Oddly enough, one of these is a heat tolerant uh, lettuce. It's uh, called Jericho, developed in Israel. I bought it to try to maintain a year-round production of lettuce during the summertime, during the hot, you know, July and August when the lettuce really doesn't grow that well. However, however heat tolerant it may be, it does seem to be enjoying the cool weather. So I've got romaine lettuce here that hopefully the fine folks over at Juan Chibo and Hernando will be using them for their salad sometime soon. So I'll go out and enjoy the, a nice meal of homegrown lettuce from Pepper's Plants.